Hello everyone, welcome back to my Clan Wars campaign. Whenever we get into battle, we're going to talk about Quick Head Taker. And if we have time, we'll talk about the foundation of the Skaven Nation. Quick Head Taker is going to head over here to the west. We're trying to get over here to the Fortress of Dawn. I'm going to use Rat Lug to snuff out any type of rebellion that crops up. Not only that, I'm going to have him go after Treasure, like over here. If he gets over to level 13, he'll get a new ability called Life is Cheap. Which means I could recruit a lot of Skaven slaves in battle. If I have him focus on weak enemies, he'll easily be able to overwhelm them. We'll change up our animation speed now. There we go. And now we can end our turn. I really need to find a new name for every location in the game that doesn't already have a Skaven themed name. I might keep a few of them, but Dawn's Light is a little bit too pretty for us. There's Clan Mordkin. I'm hoping eventually they'll join me via Confederation. If not, I'll quickly destroy them. I won't have any issue doing that. A new ambusher discovered. Garo's Deathmaker. Over in my neighbor's land. I'm not worried about it then. Okay, Ratlug. Get right over here. Before you do that, we're going to change up our units just a little bit. Here we go. I'm going to give you... Let's see. Ratling Fanatics. I do have a lot of custom names now. We've got Queeks Enforcers. Death of Night. You can take those two, actually three. There you are. I do have more clan rats, true. Yeah, take that. All right, now we have a better army. Quick, head over here. And then Ratlug, you'll head over here to that remnants of battle. That'll take me two to three turns. All right, over in Tours of Pindar, we're gonna upgrade our burrow into a layer, done. And then over here in U Attack, we're waiting two more turns to upgrade our capital. And now we can end our turn again. Now, if the Fortress of Dawn tries to come towards me, I'm going to move back to my lands and try to stage an ambush. I would rather fight them on my terms. After we beat them, maybe we'll go after the Lizardmen, who are very strong, which is why I need to get rid of these High Elves quickly. Okay, Queek. I think you're ready. I could let you replenish for a few more turns, but I think we're okay. Alright, let's go. Ratlug, we'll have you head right over here. You're bound to have a rebellion at three turns, gotcha. I'm not worried about it. It's a great way to train him up. Rebellions for me can be a good thing. It's more money and more training. The only time it could be a bad thing is if I can only afford one army and I can't go back home. But because I can afford two, I should have enough to go after any type of weak rebel army. I mean, they usually do have superior units, but I think we could beat them. We have before. Look at that, another war happening for the Fortress of Dawn. We've completed one mission. We have a new one. Diabolical Designs. Ensure that one of the following buildings have been constructed. A hideout for either the assassins or overseers. Such idle whiskers. Get to work, fool. Secrets to be found. New knowledge. New innovations to be discovered that you must only share with me. Me. Build a sting so research can begin. Yeah, I do need that. The Man Blight tribe is now gone. Let's go look over here. Arcane Generators, if we pick that up, we'll make even more money. That is a lot, wow. 3,000, I'll take it immediately. Let's go look over here. Pox Cauldron. Construction Cavern. I would be able to get Storm Vermin. Over here for Rat Ogres. I mean, these are all really good when I look at it. Over here we have Covert Choke Points. I don't need that. Not yet. Hopefully I'll never need it. And then over here we have a weapon burrow. I would need a warp turbine plant. Or a warp forage, which I do not have. That will have to wait. Alright then. Plague monks are cool and all. But I really do think I want more storm vermin and a plague claw catapult. Those are incredibly powerful. Alright. Large caverns close to the surface are often used as workshops where Skaven war machines are built, labored on by thousands of expendable slaves. And done. There goes all of my money. Okay, let's have you come right down here. He's very loyal to me, too. Tribute to the Sea Gods. Your followers have come upon two shipwrecks. and battle at sea pleases not just the gods of war, but the gods of the sea as well. Salvage from such a vicious battle is possible, but the sea gods demand their tribute, so only a quarter of the cargo should be taken. I would like my armies to perform better in battle. Arabian arms? Done. We now have a wand of jet, which I can't really use yet. 
Now we have for 10 turns, plus eight to melee defense and plus eight to melee attack. That's really incredible, wow. In Source of Blades, your exploits on the high seas has led to the salvage of arcane imbued blades, enhancing your army's combat skills. All right. Want to move back quickly if we can. There we go. I can't recruit more, not yet. Oh wait, they're coming to me now. I better move back then. Yeah, and quick. Look at that. They have a lot. And again, they're on a darn island, which makes it quite difficult to reach them. That's okay, though. We're getting better buildings. We're gonna have storm vermin pretty soon. They're going to Dawn's Light, you're kidding me. Okay, fine, I'll have to go up there now. I wonder if they'll either sack it or take it completely. I don't know. Defensive Alliance, I don't mind that. They are being beaten back. I mean, if they're conquered, I'll go reconquer their lands. Again, I don't care about them very much. They're a little buffer for me. Mission issued, blame game. Ensure that one of the following buildings have been constructed. Okay. Lord Master, this plan to take the Vortex. There are plenty of opportunities for failure and blame. Build things to lure heroes if they perform well. The glory is yours for, for recruiting them. If they fail, then they take the blame. Yes, yes. Okay, 500 gold and seven warp stone. We're about to have a new rebellion. We did conquer quickly early on, but now we're having a much harder time. Let's get over here. That way we can replenish just a little bit. Okay, could I make it way up here? I can, great. I'm hoping they'll come fight me anyway. That would be great. If not, I'm not sure what I'll do after that. Okay, over here, what can we build to make people a little bit happier? Let me keep on looking. If I do that, we'll gain more income, a lot more income. If I do that, more income, untainted plus one, recruitment cost minus 5% for local armies. You know what? I want more income. Yeah, I was going to change my mind, but no, we'll keep it. It's in a turn again. We conquered a lot of lands, but now to navigate over water, we're going to have a much harder time. Look at that. Faisal, what do you have over here? Three spearmen, Lothar and Sea Guard. A lot of archers, wow. And then Illyrian Reavers. I've got my little allies down here too. Let's go into battle. Our big goal right now is to try to divide up our enemy and hit them at every point that we can. If we do that, their archers will not be able to fight back. Night Runners, you'll be back here fighting together. That should do it. Okay, the remnant of my army will be back here. Clan Rats, I could just have you spread out like that. I don't really like that too much, though. Okay, Storm Vermin, I want you in the middle. You're meant to be with Queek Headtaker. Usually, Queek would have Storm Vermin traveling with him anyway. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to have all of you fighting together like that. Done. You'll be part of group two. My next group will move over here on the left flank, like that. And on my right flank, that'll be group four. Here we go. All right, we're now ready. Let's charge in right now. Here we go. We've got to move in quickly. Come on, group three, you got it. And group four, you too. They do have Illyrian Reavers on their left flank. My right flank, we'll have to kill them quickly. They'll do a lot of damage to me if we don't. So we'll have to watch out. Night Runners, we have archers coming at you. So let's go kill them now before they hit me. It's a quick head taker. It's a right claw to Warlord Nodwell, the Grand Ruler of Clan Moors and a member of the Council of the Thirteen, the leadership of the Skaven Under Empire. Clan Moors is a great clan in everything but their name, so the fact that Quick is at the top of the food chain for Clan Moors tells you how vile and strong that he really is. And Quick is really known for his massive ego and temper, which is actually seen as a good thing in Skaven society. He's one person who you do not want to cross. If you try to say that you're better than him, he'll try to prove you wrong or just murder you. Here comes all my night runners. Let's go ahead and bring in some clan rats right now. Right over here, right in the middle. And here comes Queek right now, right in the middle. Okay, that is group number two, group number three. Come on in. Group number four, you two. Rat ogres will move in. Both our threes will move in. And here's our Illyrian Reavers that we need to kill. Actually, rat ogres, go kill them. I want the rest of you to move over here. That'll be great. All right, night runners, just fight over here for now. You got it. You got it. 
in case my clan rats right now. Go after that group. We have them largely surrounded. Not every single group, but we're really chasing them, which is great. Let's keep on going. I'm going to use my Morris clan stone, which will give me more armor piercing. Done. Okay, Warfire Throwers, if I bring you over here, you'll easily kill everyone. Yeah, go do that. The rest of you will move over here. We're trying to herd these archers away. Just go. Come over here. Or go fight the Illyrian. Oh, hold on. They did move into the main part of that battle. Never mind. Ignore them. Just ignore them. All right, come over here. I could have my Night Runners attack in, like, melee combat, but I feel like they're doing just fine right now. They're throwing a lot of shurikens, beating well-trained archers. We've probably been training for hundreds of years, and now they're being killed by little ninja rats. What a terrible way to go. Okay, we're going to use our Verminous Valor to blow them back. All of the infantry nearby will go after more Illyrian Reavers. What about my Warfire Throwers? They'll begin to attack right now. Uh-oh, hold on. We need to go after those Reavers again. Don't come after me. Go away. Okay, chase after more of them. You got it. Warfire Throwers, come on. Do not skirmish. Just go into battle. Okay, who are we looking at over here? Just go after more of them. There we go. We need more clan rats, don't we? Yep. Come on, Reavers. I need you to die already. Warfire Throwers, you're not in the proper position, I can tell. All right. Fine. Move over here. We've got a few clan rats who are not fighting. If they're not fighting, they need to fight. Now, we have so many melee units, it'll be tough to get everyone in battle at every waking moment. Not to mention, we're fighting archers, too. And archers, well, they run a lot. It can be quite difficult to really get to them, especially when they break. Then your units will not chase them, and then, well, they come back and begin to shoot at you without you knowing. So whenever you're fighting a lot of archers, you have to constantly watch the battlefield. It can be quite deadly. All right, now we can break them. There's no way we can't now. You got it. Oh, beautiful. Right into them. They are now dead. Beautiful. So, one of the weapons of Queek Headtaker is called the Dwarf Gallinger. He found it near the Dwarf Ruins of Karak Draz, where they had a Night Goblin Lair. Whether or not Queek actually helped take that location is not important. If he said that he didn't, he would just kill you. And he would shout the loudest, too, going, hey, I did it. And so, because of that, he did earn the first rights to scavenge. And that is when he found the magical weapon that had been lost for a very long time. Again, called the Dwarf Gallinger. What's pretty funny is that even though the leader of Clan Moors really enjoys having Quick Headtaker as a follower, he's constantly trying to have him killed via a lot of assassins. It's a great way to keep him on his toes, and not only that, it's a good way to keep him busy too. That way, he'll never have time to try to plot for the leadership of Clan Moors. We've won now. We took him out. We fought a lot of archers, and they will always get a lot of kills just because, again, they will break and begin to shoot at me whenever they come back, but we got them. If we could take out their leader, that would be amazing, too. Let's try that out. I don't know if that will actually happen. Here we go. We'll fast forward now. No, it might be a little bit too much to try to chase them down. We got a lot of kills, though. Warfire Throwers, 153 kills. That is really a lot. Okay, let's go now and get back to the campaign map. We lost only 377. They lost 964. Our garrison lost only 59. 73 kills for Queek. That is a lot. All right, we're going to replenish because I want to move back to their lands and quickly. We've gained a lot of food, too. Whenever I conquer a new location, I'll be able to really invest into it. Oh, you were coming to help out? <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm going to change my mind now. Things are not looking good over there. I smell you, you. What do you want? You want me to join your war? I'm not going to do that. I really don't want to do that. You're very weak, and why would I defend someone who's very weak when I could just reconquer your lands later? Which to me sounds like a much better idea. Another rebellion. Warp Shard Armor. With Queek's enemies defeated, he is prompted by his pitiful inferiors to return to his previous clan moor's duties. After all, Nodwell would not look kindly on one who ignored his commands. No, no. Clan moors can wait. Queek's personal honor is far more important. We completed one quest. No little vermin boaster is better than the right paw of Warlord Nodwell. Queek's agent reports of a sighting of his rival close to nearby ruins. 
Quake orders the area raided. It's a wealth stolen for Queek, and if the Blissful One can be located, then he can be gouged too. We only need to earn 500 gold from raiding. All right, that shouldn't be too bad. Right, look, come over here. A very easy fight for us. We'll gain more gold, and done. We gained a pet wolf rat. Vicious and foul tempered, the result of a hideous experiment whereby Skaven were crossed with Kislevite wolves. Very nasty. Best avoid stroking it. And a new ogre blade. Let's finish him off now. We're about to level up even again. That's really good for us. Alright, I'll take it. Enemy killed in battle. Goodbye. And look at you, level 5 now. What could I give you early on that would really change things up? I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here. I could focus on your campaign abilities. I mean, that's another good idea. Skaven Corruption could go up. A tell weapon. I like that as well. I mean, that is a lot of weapon strength. I do need him to be mighty in combat. But I think for right now, what we're going to do, we're going to worry about getting more melee attack for our clan rats and more leadership too. All right, I'll take it. Okay, now you get to go back to Taurus of Pindar. Yes, yes. I don't know about that. Don't let Queek hear you. Now we'll head over here and finish off that army. Yeah, man, you came to the wrong neck of the woods. We've got a lot of rats over here. We've got a big rat problem. Okay. I could have you go out now, or I could have you just combine what you have. We're going to have you combine. There we go. Okay, you're level 8. What am I going to give you now, Quick Head Taker? Trophy Heads is really powerful. I want you to have that. I could increase your speed. More health wouldn't be bad. More weapon strength. You know what? I think I want you to take that. Yeah, we're going to make it more powerful in combat. Okay, time to do a march over here to the Fortress of Dawn. We'll be there in two more turns. Or can I? Okay, good. I can land over here. Yeah, we'll land over here in one more turn. They want to fight me on land? Great. Over here in the southern jungles, we need to upgrade another location. Alright, fine. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my lair into a nest lair. Done. And over here, because I have the gold, I'll upgrade my burrow into another lair. And down here, my slave wheels will turn into a piston house for more money. Because we need more money. Yeah, if I keep on causing rebellions over in our other land while we're out fighting the High Elves, I'll be able to earn more money and have a better Lord later. He's very loyal to me, which is quite good. What do you want? A military alliance. I don't know about that. They're about to lose their war. Yeah, we're going to retake their lands later. I don't know if I'll be able to beat the Lizardman with my secondary army. I would need a lot more units, and I don't have the gold for that just yet. Whoa, look at that storm. Lizardmen are dying. Good. I like that. Wait, am I dying too? I am. Okay, we'll have to move quickly then. That is really bad fortune for me. Alright, let's come over here immediately. That was a really close one. Okay. So we can head into battle immediately after our next turn. Or our current turn. Or we could try to replenish. I don't really believe we need to. I think we're fine. We have the numbers to win anyway. Alright. Taurus of Pindar. We're going to upgrade our Rattling Warrens over into a Nest Nursery. We'll get more growth, more income, and more replenishment in addition to our Skaven Corruption. Alright. I'm going to have you replenish for now. Actually, Control-A, Control-M to combine. I'm going to have you recruit two more. Well, we might as well just keep that. I was going to change my mind, but they're very cheap. It's not really a big deal. Then we'll begin to raid in our own lands again. Oh, they're coming to fight me. Okay. So we're fighting Varan and Dolwyn. All right. If you want to fight me, I'm fine with it. I don't mind. Let's go look at the battle map real quick. A lot of trees, too. They don't have as many archers, but that's okay. If I use my Warfire Throwers to really flank them, I'll be just fine. It's a lot easier to micromanage a smaller army, which means I'll have a much easier time for our current fight. And again, we have the jungle to block a lot of archer arrows. The Battle of Fortress Dawn is about to commence. 
Whoa, it's a really big map. Man, these are cool looking. Check that out. All right. Night runners, I could leave you in the trees and just hide you away. That's true. Could use you later on to go fight. It's really up to me. I don't want you in that corner. What about over here? Nope, all open plains. Is there like a place I could put you? Nope, not over here. All right, fine. All of you will go right over here. There you go. Doesn't really matter too much. I mean, I do have to deploy way back here. Okay, clan rats, you're all together. Storm vermin. And everyone else, you'll be over here. We'll begin to position our units whenever we move up. Are they coming for me? Oh, they are coming for me. Okay. Let's go. I'm not even worried about them. Let's just go in. Weak head taker, you two. Come on. We'll take him out. Okay, night runners, I'm going to move you over to the edge of the jungle. Hide foliage. I'm going to turn you off. That way we can have a beautiful fight. What might be in the jungle? Check him out. That would be hard to see. Yeah, guys, you're pretty far from home. They're really not in the right location to fight a war. They live on a very pretty island. We're not in a very pretty place. I mean, sure, it's nice to look at, but it's very deadly. All right, Council's Command. Let's move in immediately. Group three, are you moving in? Yeah, good, they are. Actually, before we charge in, we're going to pull back just a little bit. All right, Night Runners, you're not ready yet. They're about to be. I could have my clan rats spawn in right now to distract them. That's up to me. I don't want to do that. Yeah, move over here. You got it. Now group two can move in. Group one, go attack. Clan rats, I'm going to have you go back here and attack a few of them just for now. Just to keep them busy. Oh, hi there. Hope you enjoy some rats. I've got that ratatouille for you. All right, clan rats are moving in now. Here comes our gigantic army, ready to go kill everyone. Rat ogres, come over here, kill some Lothran sea guards. Okay, storm vermin, I want you guys over here. Four fire throwers, uh, where am I going to put you? I could put you right here to attack. Do not skirmish, go into guard mode. All right, got some shields too. All of you just go charge in. And night runners, do what you will. Yeah, it's, go attack whoever you want. And now we want some armor piercing. Done. Look at that. We've hit them everywhere again. And they're much weaker for it. All right, go kill the spearmen immediately. You got it. We can bring in more clan rats. And again, we will. I'll bring them right over here. All right, Queek. We don't want you waiting back there. Let's just move you right in. Had to command his entire large army. And it is a very large army. Let's come over here. Actually, I want to have all of you focus on one target. Go kill that princess. It's a lot of shurikens. I don't care how mighty you are. When you have hundreds of shurikens flying in your face, you're probably going to go down. Okay, Queek. Head over here. Kill some Lothran Sea Guardsmen. Storm Vermin. Keep on fighting. You got it. Got some archers to worry about though. Hold on, let's come over here and get them. Alright, what about my clan rats? Move over here too. Go get them right now. You got it. Good work. Alright, night runners, have you won yet? You're going to. I feel like you're not all throwing as many as you could be. Probably because you're all grouped up. Here, move out a little bit. Just move out just a little bit and you'll take care of it. Alright, rat ogres, you're taking a lot of damage. I don't like that. I'm gonna move you back just a little bit. Warfire throwers, you've killed 70 already. That's an extreme amount. Go over here and kill those spearmen. You'll easily get them. That's not a big deal. You can easily take them all out. Alright, Night Runners, do your job now. Storm Vermin are coming after more archers. They'll easily beat them too. Let's go ahead and watch the battle. We are Skaven, so no matter what, we're going to lose a decent amount in every battle. If we don't, well, shame on them. We're not about quality. We're about numbers. A lot of numbers. Thank you, Warfire Throwers. 
I've done so early on. It's been such a great boon for me. It's allowed me to beat everyone. Okay, there we go. Now we're beginning to really hit them. How many have you killed? Oh, you've killed 36. Wow, that's a lot. Let's come over here and flank more of these guys. Go chase after those high elves right now. Go kill them. All right. We've got plenty to fight over here. Go chase after more archers if you don't mind. And I know you don't. It's your job. You enjoy it. Look at that. We have a few spearmen coming after me. Clan rats come over here. Got more over here. We'll have them go after these spearmen. There's 89 of them left. We have more clan rats over here. They'll press on after the spearmen. There's only 56 left in that group. Red ogres are now charging out to go kill some more of them. Some more of his archers. Okay, so we need some armor piercing right now. Night runners, I want all of you to move back immediately. Just move back. You don't need to be here. Just run. Yeah, their nobility is pretty powerful. No matter what we do, they're just pretty powerful. There you go, Rat Ogres. You'll eventually catch them. They're about to go to the very corner of the map. And then they'll be done for. All right, Night Runners, come over here. Kill these archers. You two will come right over here and kill them. The rest of you go after that Elven nobility. They're way too pretty. I don't like them. I'm going to wear their hair as a scarf. I know. Pretty nasty. Pretty violent. There we go. We blew back the few Elven spearmen left, and now they're broken. Queek will go after at least one of them. There you go, Queek. Take him out. Queek can do it. Queek is mighty. Ooh, right from behind. Okay, your army's gone. They should break at any moment now. They're done for. Get the princess now. How are the archers doing? Yeah, they're falling apart too. All the spearmen nearby? Dead. They came after me too. They were being very aggressive. They were like, hey, we can easily beat some weak Skaven. Oh, no, no. Not when led by Quick Headtaker. And we won. <laughs> Easy enough. The battle is now over. Let's end the fight. Decisive victory. We lost only 341. They lost 898. Their leader killed a lot. 88. Wow. Okay, we're going to replenish while we're here. I usually do that when I'm trying to quickly get to a new town. I want to keep my numbers up if I can. Siege battles are usually pretty dirty. Oh, look at them now. They're much weaker. I'll probably fight their army outside of the Fortress of Dawn if I can help it. They do have one lord right by there. Those lizard men are now falling apart. Which means if I head back in time, I might be able to conquer their lands easily. That would be good for me. I do have two lizard men factions to fight. All right, you leveled up again. Good. I could raid here. I'll think about it. Route Marcher. We definitely want that. I put it on for way too long. We'll get it right now. Whoa. They have a lot of Sea Guardsmen. Wow. Could I beat them? Three Lords total would be really annoying to fight. Could I beat them, though? That is my big question. The balance of power is not in my favor. That is very true. But you know what? I don't care. I'll try it anyway. The Battle of Fortress Dawn, Part 2. We're fighting three elven nobles. and Man, they're really powerful. They will definitely get a lot of kills. I'll have to use my Warfire Throwers to really win this fight. Oh, hello. If you're coming over here, what I'm really wondering is... Can we easily win then? They'll all be right by me. Oh, I like that. Okay, you're right there. All of you will be over here. I'll have you move over to the left flank. Night Runners, where can I put you? All over here? Okay. Guard mode, done. Rat Ogres, you'll be here. Quick Head Taker, you'll be here too. We have one more unit back there. My Warfire Throwers, we'll move them over to the right flank. Clan Rats, you'll all be together. Night Runners, all together. 
Okay, I think we're good now. All of you can move up. Night Runners, kill whoever you can. Hey, they're right by me. What a bad idea. They should not be here. Can we chase after them yet? Now we can. Go get them. Go get all of them. Come on, Queek. Queek is so good. You've got to enjoy some good Queek combat. Here comes a Great Eagle. You kill the Great Eagle. Well, fire throwers, go after that Great Eagle. Unless it try to. Okay, it's landing. Never mind. Huh. Well, fire throwers will move over here. Clan rats, I want you to move in immediately. Hit them now. Come over here, kill some more archers. Oh, man. Check out that fight. Again, they are all surrounded. It's very good that we attacked that one noble. Their friends came to help, and now they get to die. Okay, Warfire Throwers, you can easily kill all those Lothern Sea Guardsmen. From the Kingdom of Lothern. Go after that Great Eagle and kill it. Oh, check this out right now. There they go. And immediately they begin to melt away. That is really brutal. All right, Queek, you're over here. We'll improve your damage resistance for right now as you just kill a lot of them. We can bring in more clan rats if we want to. Does it really matter? I don't believe it does. Not really. Yeah, leave my Warfire Throwers alone. Can we hit the Great Eagle, though? That's what I really want to hit. If we hit it in the sky, that would be beautiful. Nope, it's going back down. Never mind. We can't do that. Okay, go kill that Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. Time for some armor piercing. And more clan rats. Right in the middle of them, too. I love the way they scurry onto the battlefield. That's beautiful. What a majestic, wonderful bird. Murder it. Ha ha ha. Ah, that feels good. Thank you, Quick. Okay. Storm Vermin, go after that prince. He'll be fighting alone. I don't care how mighty you are, if you're trying to attack a bunch of armored rats, good luck, buddy. As cool as that looked, you're dead. Okay, Night Runners, what can I have you do? I'm gonna have all of you move over here, just for fun. We've beaten their archers now. What about Queek? Come over here. Festering Claws, move over here. Yeah, I'll just use my Warfire Thrower to quickly kill them all. Not a big deal. Let's do it again. Go Health Busters, you're doing it. Nearly every group that we have right now has a unique name, I believe. Queeks Commandos, Gnars of Death, Sauls and Mund Sewer Stabbers, Death of Night. Oh, we're beating their leader. He's only killed four so far. I had a feeling that he wouldn't be able to win. Okay. Over 100 kills now. Oh, Queek, why don't we move you away from that? <laughs> I know you're strong, but that's a little bit crazy. All right, come into melee combat. We'll go stab him, go shank him. That's how we greet people in our kingdom. We shank him. Or use really foul and evil weapons to burn him alive. Wait, who won over here? Oh, they broke, really? That's very shocking. Alright, go kill them. Let's bring in more to your fight. Maybe the Warfire Thrower hits them? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'll let you go fight that. Okay, the Prince is now broken, never mind. Yeah, they're all broken now. Doesn't matter. The battle's now over. And that is our victory. Another powerful and wonderful battle won by our faction. Let's end the fight. Close victory. I don't know about that. I feel like it's kind of in my favor. We lost a little bit under 400. Their numbers were not high by default, and they already lost a lot. We still have over 2,000 Skaven. And again, we're going to replenish by 3% by eating them. Yum. We now have a Pigeon Plucker Pendant. Reduces the melee attack of flying units by 5. Goodbye, Dolman. Alright, now you're level 10. 
If I give you that, loyalty goes down for new recruits, but you'll have more leadership for your army. And if any agent tries to come after you, you've got a 50% better chance of wounding them. That's really powerful too. All right, you know what? We'll take it because we have a lot of really good abilities right over here. Loyalty goes down if I use make examples. Life is very cheap. Replenishment will go up by 10%, wow. All right, I definitely need that. Done. Now, 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 what do we get to do? I do want one siege tower. We do need to fight two lords, or I could just raid for right now, but if I do that, they'll begin to replenish, probably a little bit faster than I can. Got a lot of food. I could use a bit of it. Two turns, though. I don't want to wait that long. Okay, I'll break down their gate, and that's about it. Okay, lizard men. Don't come over here. No one wants you here. And for you, let's have you go raid. Yeah. We've got to train you up. All right. What about over here? What new commandment do I want for you? Tax rate will go down. I don't want that. More public order for when we're done. That would actually counter my issues over here in the southern jungles. Okay, we'll take it. Skaven corruption. How's it doing so far? Yeah, it's getting up there. Over time. Let's untaint it. Things get a little bit grim. Look at that warp stone. 114 currently. If we come over here, we'll get some spices. All right, we can spice our human man meat or elf meat after we butcher them. It's a delicacy, all right? We get hungry. Last defenders look pretty powerful. Krogar is gonna be a tough one to crack. I'll have to go beat him eventually. He's about to beat that clan right by me. Lizard men, you're gonna provide a huge challenge for me. I feel like we're gonna be stuck here for a little while fighting two factions, but I'm not sure. A new quest issued. Kill 1,000 enemies in battle. Curses, Dwarf Gouger has been stolen. Quick immediately slays two of his most trusted lieutenants who were clearly to blame. It is irrelevant that he was the last one in possession of it. Killing his loyal followers is not enough to sate the head taker's rage, so he lashes out at the closest enemies, for they are clearly the thieves in some way. And deep down in his venomous mind, he knows that keeping his horde busy will distract them from his own incompetence and losing one of Clan Moore's most priceless artifacts. We'll gain 20 warp stone and 1500 gold. Those lizard men are trying to head over here to take this land, and look at them. They won't be easy to beat down. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty tough one. Okay, you're going to rebuild one more turn. Good. What can I upgrade over here? That would be good for us all. Oh, hello. A warp stone deposit. We can generate 10 warp stone. That sounds pretty good to me. I like that for one building. Yeah. Caverns of Sotek would let me get that. I mean, it is a unique building that we need. And then over here we have Exotic Animal Tamer. More money. You know what? We got to get it. We got to get it right now. Warp Stone is concentrated dark magic, which is the tendency to attract more of itself. Weird. Here's my clan pit. I don't actually need that here anymore. I have that over in my main province right now. All right, Dawn's Light, we're gonna upgrade you from a layer to a nest layer. We've got the money, we're making over 1,000 now. It's time for me to go into combat, I think. When we win here, well, I could burn it down. That might be one idea, but if I do that, another faction might take it, which is the difficulty. I wouldn't like that. I don't want the Lizardmen to take this location, but it's pretty far from me, and I don't know if the climate is suitable. I'll have to check it out. All right. Here we are. 
night runners. I could have all of you climb on the wall immediately. That's actually a great idea. We're going to have them do that immediately. Okay, storm vermin, you'll be right there. Other storm vermin, you'll join in. All of you will go climb that wall. That's what you're going to do. I'm going to make you do it. But you two, you've got shields, but it doesn't matter. Queek, you'll be over here in the middle. Rat ogres, you'll join them. Okay, Warfire Throwers, I don't know what I'll do with you yet. We'll figure it out. Everyone climb up. We'll go break down that gate. We're going to lose a lot here. It's just how it all works out, unfortunately. All right, everyone go in. Time to climb in right now. Siege battles are so bloody for me. Hopefully they won't break. I'm going to use my clan rats to... Try to distract him a little bit. Yeah, let's try that out right now. Come on in. Go distract someone. Actually, if we captured their gate, that would have been a better idea when I think about it. I wonder how long that would take. Because if we could do that immediately, oh, oh man, that would be amazingly good. Look at that. We're about to capture their gate. Oh, I love that idea so much. All right, Night Riders are now getting up. They have their leader up here as well. Rats are moving in. Rat ogres are taking a lot of damage. Oh, watch out. We're about to capture it. We're nearly done. Okay, I want all my rats over here. Warfire Thor is in the middle. Queek, you two in the middle. Doesn't matter who, just get in. Come on. Open the gates right now. Tell me we can get in. Oh, no. Guys. We do own it, right? I thought we did. Shoot. Okay, well, go back on the walls. Never mind. We'll bring the ram here. All right, night runners, you've got your job cut out for you. We hold the gatehouse. Well, that's great and all, but I was really hoping it would just open the gate. Oh, well. All right, clan rats. Come on, let's go. We all need to climb in now. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Now it's here. Beautiful. Okay, group two, come on in. That's what I was waiting for. I was really worried about that. I've never been able to do that before, but I love that we can do that. We can actually open the gates and then get into combat. That's really beautiful. All right, Warfire Throwers, get over here. If you hit them like that from behind, you'll easily kill them all. That's beautiful. Come into combat now. We need more clan rats right now. We'll buff up all of our units as they are right now. Okay, I don't want you to skirmish. Just move in. Rad Ogres, the Headcrackers, you'll go after their leader, who's already done for. He's dead. We've already... Oh! That Rad Ogre came out of nowhere and clotheslined him. Did you see that? That was incredible. <laughs> All right. Apparently, the rats watch the wrestling a lot. I didn't know that. Now I do. Okay. Go after their other princess. Go kill her. All right. Now, can I get all of you to hit... The sea guard up there. If you can, that'd be amazing. I think they might be able to. Hold on. Let's find out. Or maybe not. Either way, just go in. I've got the rats for it. I've got all the rats for it, man. Oh, you're fighting my... Oh, yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Now, come over here. We'll go right into the courtyard and kill them. Great Eagle, you're not going to stop me. You think you will, but you're not. Oh! And knocked down. All right, Quick's on the way. Storm Vermin on the way. Whatever you can kill, all my rats are rushing into combat now. None of you skirmish, just go in there. Yeah, whoever you can hit from down here, that would be beautiful. Storm Vermin are killing some more spearmen. Oh, right on the wall. Even if they hit a few of them, they're done. All right, we have more rats climbing up. Through sheer numbers, we were able to overwhelm them. Yeah, in the future, I'll just open up the gate like that. The poor rat ogres took a lot of damage. But we finally took this location. The Fortress of the Dawn now belongs to me. 
Okay, Storm Vermin. Come over here. Actually, come over here. Kill that group. It's a lot of them. Queek, let's get you over here as well. Love you move quickly. There we go. All right, what rats do we have not fighting? Let's just move them down here for now. Battle, the battle's nearly done. They're losing it. What a beautiful settlement. You know, we're gonna smear rat dung all over it. We like the smell of rat dung a lot, clearly. So we're gonna do that probably first. Um, let me think about it. What else shall we do to it? Well, I'm gonna shave off all their heads and probably make a gigantic carpet leading from the front gate to wherever I can. Maybe way back here. I think he's a little bit mean. Just a little bit mean. All right, let's buff up our units again. Come over here, go kill them. You too, you too, just go kill everyone. Night Runners, I'm gonna have all of you move down here instead. You can help it. Actually, it doesn't really matter. You're pretty good at melee. Let's go into melee. All of you move down. You can be a little bit messy. And move up. Come on, Queek. Whatever we lose, we'll just get new units when we go back home. We've got to recruit more anyway. Look at their shining, beautiful armor. Only a few more to overwhelm. Yeah, ladders are really terrible to use if you want to get up onto the walls quickly. It takes a long time. Enemy Lord is now dead. Well, that's over. All right, Storm Vermin, let's hold that location. There it is, found a dead body. It's like a game for us, we find the elven dead bodies. Wait, can I use my Verminous Valor up here? Really? Oh, that's really powerful, right on the walls. It's a great way to break them all up. Look at that. Battle done. Every one of them will be killed or enslaved. That's really any fate that you can find whenever you fight the Skaven. It's not a life that you want, not at all. They're very cruel. Okay. Whenever I can end my battle, I will. Oh, I can now, good. I lost 552. Yeah, it's a siege battle, and it was pretty messy. I haven't really done a lot of siege battles. I try to avoid them when I can. They're very costly, as they probably should be. You have walls and towers, you're always going to kill a little bit more. Or usually. I could upgrade it big time. That would be a lot of food. I don't want to spend that much food. If I keep it, I want it to be powerful. I think tier 2 would do for right now. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to keep control of all of it if I wanted to, but I don't want the lizard men to rebuild it, so we'll keep it for now. If there's a big rebellion and they take it, I won't care. It's not a big deal. Okay, clan barracks, I don't need that. We'll destroy it. We're tier two right now. We still have a lot of food. Enemies killed in battle. Purge the elf things, mission completed. We have now gained 10 warp stone and 2,000 more gold. And that faction is completely gone. What a bad expedition. Okay, we've got to find a way to replenish quickly. That's going to take some time. Whoa, another high elf faction. Where did you... Maybe from over here. They're rather large. I don't like that. Alright, well... You don't need to move. You only need to raid. Look, if you want me to move... Okay. Now we can end our turn. I'll have to turn off that notification. I shouldn't forget to move a lord. That would be strange for me. What are they doing? Okay, good. They're moving back. They were trying to scout things out. After we beat the rebel army, we have another treasure to find. I wonder if they move locations. I guess they do, but... It's really not too far from the previous one. Another rebellion. Look, don't you raid my lands. I know I made you angry to begin with, but 
Ooh, all dead in one attack. Great. I'll take your gold. 10,000 gold. We have a new ability, Scalm, from that enchanted item. This fetid potion knits bone, seals flesh, and stanches the flow of blood from mortal wounds. Oh, a potion. Okay. I need to carry out any hero action. In the aftermath of Queek's real or maybe false rage, one of his sniveling minions approaches and concludes that a clan Eshin assassin was the actual thief. For a moment, Queek is tempted to rip out the messenger's throat at this news, but realizes that if he keeps killing his loyal servants, he'll run out of followers. Instead, Queek settles for a swipe with, with his claw, sending the inferior flying. Before rearing to his full hide and demanding the perpetrator must be found, he promotes a servant he has just struck to Chief Finder, giving Queek a convenient scapegoat should the search prove fruitless. We'll gain 20 Wolf Stone and 1,500 gold. Alright, you level up again. Good. We're going to give you one more into Pack Leader. Now, I want you to move right over here. The Remnants. A strange campsite is discovered, populated by statues. A fire still burns and a cooking pot bubbles, and yet no living thing attends. Just statues fashioned in the throes of a felt escape. Then, in the undergrowth, something hisses. This needs to be a lightning fast raid. Okay, I can perform better in campaign or battle. We'll take campaign. Favorable winds. Now we can move further by 25% and we've gained 1500 gold. Your exploits on the high seas have heralded benign weather, allowing for greater movement in these regions. That's really good. I will take that. Now, can we leave immediately? That's what I want to know. I wouldn't mind having a few spices, but we might need to leave immediately. Okay, Rend and Slaughter, that would make you more powerful, plus eight leadership, and you'll get Frenzy. Make examples, I don't want that yet. But you would cause fear, that's very powerful. More replenishment, I definitely want that done. Life is very cheap. If I get it again, my replenishment will go up to 20%. My clan rats will be cheaper, we'll have more armor for my Skaven slaves and clan rats, and we'll have more experience for all of them too, whenever I recruit more. Yeah, these are all really good things. Okay. Let's move back home. I might need to just combine what I have and recruit more. We'll have to give them new names later on, but that is okay. Alright, we can give you more public order, which for now, I'll have to. Taskmaster's platform, we'll take it. From his raised platform, the Taskmaster guides and directs the noisome hordes, setting tasks and mustering the clan rats for war. Four turns for that, though. That'll take quite some time. Alright, now that we have gold, what do I want? Scrag hole. If you can get me some poison wind globadiers, that would be a nice change. And we could use some technology, too, some changes. I could use a new hero. Plague monks, what about over here? A plague priest. That is not what I want. Let me look around a little bit more. Hold on, what's over here? Right, all of you. Assassin. That's a hidden layer. I need to upgrade that. Which I can after three turns over here in my other settlement. Gotcha. Storm Vermin, if I upgrade that to a clan armory. Alright, I do need a warp forge. Yeah, I'll have to change up that building later. But I do want more rat ogres. I mean, there's a lot that I want. Plague monks are fantastic. Over here we have a plague claw catapult. Weapon burrow. I like that. We'll do it. Actually, can I get it to the top tier? I can. Okay, I only need one. Great. Then I shall take it. Yeah, we'll just go recruit new units. I'm not worried about it. And over here, while we're happy, over in the caverns of Sotek, I could build a wall. My allies are still alive. Barely. And I mean barely. Okay, what would be the best choice right now for all of us? More replenishment. I'm going to take my exotic animal tamer. Now, will you join me? It's up to you. They will. Okay, we now have more lands and look at that faction. The Sea of Dread. We have a lot of high elves to kill. That's going to take a lot of killing. We are surrounded by a lot of hostile enemies right now. I mean, look at how strong they are. I've got to recruit more eventually. What do you have? You're level 7. Are your skills actually logical? Actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, they are more logical now. I'm glad. Because in the past, you would have lords who would join you. And they would have just random abilities. But over here, that's not too bad. 
I don't need you right now, though. I have my own lord. Simple Avenue of Gold. A gold mine. Hey, I'll take that. And here's a hidden lair. Okay, you'll be there soon. I'll have you move over there to defend. I don't know if I can go after the High Elves immediately. I'm going to have to eventually. They'll come after me. That's a lot of money. Look at that. 1,000 gold over there. 1,500. They clearly make a lot more money than I do. Jeez. The Fortress of Dawn. What can I do to make you happy? I can get rid of your taxes, but that won't really change things up. Okay, that'll go down by nine. Events are causing issues too. Right. You can't really live here. I'll try to keep it if I can. Again, I won't cry about it. I just didn't want the Lizardmen to take it. But I could actually just demolish everything and leave it alone. And just let it be captured by whatever faction. But I don't know if it might be a high elf faction that might pop up. I'm hoping it won't be. I'm hoping it'll be some random thing that'll come after us. That would be okay with me. Alright, finally. Let's go back home and get some new units. It's finally time. We get to rebuild for once. We don't often get to do that. Alright, jungles. You're unhappy. You're usually unhappy. Tuarsa Pendar, you're unhappy too. Confederation. Public order goes down by eight. Okay. Four turns. No wonder everyone's unhappy. I got you now. Minus four. Caverns of Sotek. Temple Avenue of Gold. They're pretty unhappy, but yeah, come over here. Actually, you know what? Just march in. All right, so they joined me. We get more gold now, 1,400. I get to recruit more units. I need to go after our enemy, the Lizardmen, eventually. I feel like they might be easier to go after initially because they're on land for one. But are they allied to anyone? We need to find it out real quick. Hold on. Are you allied to anyone? You're not. You're fighting two factions, though. Wait, you're fighting the other Lizardmen faction who are now also very weak. The last defenders are beating everyone, it looks like. What about you? Who are you fighting? That faction too, and you're neighboring me, and you're pretty strong. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Two top five factions are right by me. I mean, I'm only considered weaker right now due to my low numbers that we're about to fix up. Alright, let's end our turn again. We can do that. We've gotten so much done. But yeah, in our next part, we'll definitely talk about the foundation of the Skaven Under Empire and how they came to develop the Council of the Thirteen. It's all little bits of information that really accumulate over time. That way you know all about the faction. If there's anything you want to know, you can let me know and I can always talk about it in the future. Severe, a new trait gain for Ratlug Orc Spit, plus two to public order. Which is what we need right now. That's more money. Temple Avenue of Gold. I'll destroy that building and probably just build a little garrison or something. All right, they're still pretty low on units too. Let's go look over here. We have one more turn. If I upgrade that, we get more public order and new technology. I haven't been able to go after any technology, not yet. We're finally about to get there. All right, let's combine. I'll get rid of a few things here. Get rid of you for now. And you too. Okay, we could use a Plague Claw Catapult, that's over 300 gold, that's a lot of gold, but Plague Claw Catapults are very powerful. We could get some Night Runner Slingers, they do have Dodge, we do have Night Runners, a lot of them. I wanted my Storm Vermin, but that will have to wait. We'll keep our armies relatively cheap, I could get more Shields too. Some Anti-Large probably wouldn't hurt. We're still winning, I mean, we're not having an issue with that, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we'll take more shields for right now. That'll be two turns to wait here as we begin to replenish. I am Warlord. And you, well, we'll find out what you're gonna do later. I'll have to change up my buildings a little bit over here later too. It's a lot of income, it's 80% more. I'm kind of scared to get rid of it. I feel like I'll lose way too much. I do want my storm vermin. All right, it's in our turn again. I'm glad we have money. At least we can upgrade our buildings again. And again and again. Until we can get our actual elite units. So we'll keep on using our masses for now. 
Oh, look at that. The lizardmen keep on fighting. I'm loving that a lot. Making me quite happy. Keep on doing that. Queek is now severe. A wise move, my lord. A severe aspect demands respect. Alright, let's go look at my quest real quick. I need to get a hero. And I need to raid. Only 500 gold. I don't want to cause any issues with our neighbors. I could go do that. I think I will go raid. So by the time we get to our next part, we'll have a new quest battle and gain some loot. We want that loot in quickly. Anyway, we're going to call it here for right now. Leave a like down below if you have been enjoying my series. If you have any advice for me, then feel free to share that. And look forward to more content every day. And as always, until then.